Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sarah here, and today I'm showing you a cool little video, quick tutorial on how to get the Fate Room on round 4 in DOA 3 on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I don't know if it was intended for this to be able to be possible, but it is possible with a good amount of RNG that gives you the amount of keys that you need. So when you start up the game, there is always one bonus key that basically starts off every single time you start the game. I've never seen it not show up, so that's one of the five keys that you'll need to take one of the two routes. To do this, there are two routes you can take. There's the first route where you go into the first wild, open two doors that get to the third wild that I will show later on in the video, and then you need to open two doors in the third wild that take you to the second wild, and then one door in the second wild to advance up the mountain into the fate room. The other route is opening two doors in the first wild that open up to the bridge area in the second wild, just completely skipping the third wild, and then three doors past that to get up the mountain into the fate room. So for the first path I'm going to be talking about, which is the one I would recommend because it is the least RNG intensive, is the route where you go into the third wild from the first wild to the second wild. So to do this, you will need to find one additional bonus key in the first wild to go along with your key from the start. So you have two keys total leaving the first wild. And then you will need to go to these two doors I was talking about I'll show now that you can open with two keys that will take you into the third wild. Now once you are in the third wild, you have the entire wild like you would be when you enter it on round 36 to explore and get at least one more key minimum. The most, the least amount of keys you can come out of with the third wild to be able to advance into possibly getting into the fates is one. So there's like a dungeon and two bonus rooms that can possibly get you a key. So, and then there's also all the drops that are just around the map. If you can come out of the third wild with at least one key throughout all of it, you will be able to advance. So if you manage to get at least one key or more, which would be even better, you need to come and buy the, oh, not buy, but open this second door with this key, which will lead you into this room that is behind the second wall, behind the second wild wall that if you've ever entered the second wild and went straight back instead of straight forward, you will see the cement wall that is blocked off. This will lead you into this next area where there is three additional bonus key spawns. They're not all static, so they are pretty RNG based, but there's usually at least two there. So there's this first one that I'm going to be showing across this path of fireballs that you just kind of have to learn to time right. It, you might die a couple times trying this, but it isn't that difficult. I'll show me going through the entire thing and how to get the key. And then after that, you need to go on these bounce pads, which for some reason, I'm not even sure if it was intended or what they were trying to do with this, but you die every single time taking these bounce pads. The best thing I can recommend to you is to just try and do it as quickly as possible to get your golden ring or green golden ring to protect you as you fall and get this other key or multiple keys if there is. You need to get at least two more keys in this room depending on how many keys you came out of the third wild with. If you came out of the third wild with zero keys, you need two additional keys. If you came into if you came out of the third wild with one key, you only need to find one here. Or if you came out of the th third wild with three keys, you can just go straight out into the second wild up the mountain. After you get two more keys minimum, you need to open this door that leads you into the second wild spawn room and then one more to open this door to start advancing up the mountain. And I need to give a huge shout out to KXG124124 for showing on his stream how to get these additional bonus keys out of bounds in the second wild because I don't think I haven't seen anyone else get these additional bonus keys that are out of bounds and across the lava over there other than him he spent like an hour and a half exploring the third wild on his stream from the second wild so it's definitely needed for me to be able to make this possible so after this you just after you get all these keys you just advance up the mountain like any one would on round 20 plus getting the fates that way and you can go up the mountain and get into the fate room on round four and get your fate on round four. And then it'll advance you to round five just like it normally would. Now this is bringing me to raise the question, what would happen then? I didn't continue this game to round 20. I just ended it on round five because I, it was already 11 o'clock in the morning. And I haven't I hadn't slept when I ended my stream. So, But I was wondering what would happen if you got to round 20 and went back into the fate room. I was wondering maybe if there's a possibility of double fates or if you could re-choose your fate or what. Um, but that's a good question that I think that someone else could test or maybe I might test later eventually. But they might be able to do a little bit more than what is initially thought in DOA 3. And there is even a chance to get 
a third possibility of going back into the fate room when you go into the wild a third time on round 36 you could potentially just go all the way back follow the same path from the third wild into the second wild again and maybe even get in the fate room a third time i don't know if this would be possible or if you could get triple fate or just re-choose your fate but it's an interesting question to keep up and now it may seem pretty hard to achieve this, get five keys and survive through all three wilds just to get up to the fate room, but it isn't as bad as it may seem because along the way there is two total dungeons, like four total bonus rooms. So there is definitely enough material to get you there because as you can see on screen, I have 1.3 million points at the end of round four. So there definitely is enough room, enough leeway to get you enough lives and nukes and dashes to be able to survive through all three wilds. So it isn't as difficult as it may seem, but it may take more time than it would just to survive the 20 and get to the fate room anyways. So it may not be worth it. It may be worth it. I just wanted to show you guys this cool little trick just to get it out there so people know about it basically. So that's basically it for this video. I've been playing a lot of DOA 3 lately because I just don't like the original, you know, the actual zombies map on the game. I, I don't like the format that they're taking and making a health cap and a round or a zombies cap per round. So uh, I'll be playing a lot of DOA 3 and streaming it and uploading it. I don't have any more content. I have been trying to figure out the fates, how to tell which fate is what. But I just keep running into problems trying to actually figure out which is which. So I don't know if I'll ever have a video on that. But I definitely will have videos of me playing for high rounds and maybe trying to get world record at some point. But uh, that's all I have for now. So I'm staring them out. Peace.